What up, big time gang? Welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. This one was shot on Father's Day. This is my homie Gilbert's watch. Um, this was his Father's Day gift. And um, I'm sizing it for him. So uh, Gilbert's, uh, I think it's like on his fifth or sixth um, Invicta. Um, slowly starting to build his collection. Bam. I believe this is a scuba. I have not done any research on this watch, but it has definitely has a scuba bracelet in case. Different bezel design, it might be a different generation, but a beautiful watch. Can't go wrong with blue and gold. So uh, we're gonna size this bad boy today and get this to where it fits Gilbert. This is model number, let's get it there. 248. Five six Pro Diver Scuba. This is Japanese chronograph. And I will get you the information on this watch and what it's all about. But um check the description for all that info. I gotta get this video shot and get it back to Gilbert so he can wear it on Father's Day, because it's obviously his Father's Day gift. So um I did a little video on Father's Day. I hope you guys watched it. Um, you know, Trap Vision inspired me to do that video. And if you're not a subscriber to Trap Vision 3D, make sure you go and do that. Uh, great channel, man. Great energy. Uh, Trap's an awesome dude. Got nothing but love and respect for that guy. And, uh, he did a giveaway on Father's Day. And then my video was just kind of like, uh, not a response to that video, but just, uh, you know, a kudos. And uh, talk a little bit about my pops and just how important men are. But seeing this watch and working on it makes me think about that video I just shot. So um, we're going to get into sizing this bad boy. All gold case and bracelet. This is a 48 millimeter watch. And it's got a black uh, bezel with like blue carbon. You see that there? Then a beautiful dark blue dial, like a navy. Good looking watch though. So anyway, I'm going to uh, unwrap it real quick and then we'll get to sizing it. We're going to be taking out four links. Um, hopefully that works. If it doesn't, I told Gilbert I'll, spot, I'll size it at work on the spot. But uh, nowadays when I get somebody that needs a, a watch size, I want to take it home. I want to make the content with it. Because uh, most 90% of the time, the watch is something I'll you know probably never own. And so I got to take that opportunity to show you guys. <laughs> because every different watch I get is more uh, exposure to the watches that Invicta creates. You know, and uh, that's important to me to make sure you guys see it. So we're going to get out my little link baggie first. And uh, I get asked a lot. What baggies do I use? So this is what I use. One and a half by two inch. Two mil thick. I bought these on Amazon. It came like in a thousand piece set. Each bag has a hundred in them. And I believe there was like ten bags. Or it might have been five hundred. I don't, I don't remember. But um, these are what I use for my links. If you got a really tiny wrist, um, this might not work for you because um, two mil two inches long. Might not be enough to fit all your links together. And I don't suggest stacking them. So I don't suggest putting like two layers in a bag. Because uh, you take the risk of the links scratching each other up in the uh, bag itself. That's just my advice. Um, I always put one layer inside the bag. So the model number on this was 24856. I'm going to write on there, Pro Diver. And now I want one. Uh, Gilbert's looking for his uh, links. He knows which is which. So the scubas are unique in where they have uh, big links and small links. So um, looking at this, we have three small links like in size. And then we have uh, the larger links. I'm going to do the small links and hope that works for Gilbert and his wrist size 
and we will see. So if you're new to the channel and you've never seen me do a sizing video, you always follow the arrows. Arrows are pointing down right now so that I'm hitting the, um, the pins down with the arrows. And then you always want to put the uh, cotter pins back in opposite the arrows. So that is only on a cotter pin style bracelet. There is a pin and sleeve style bracelet. And that doesn't really matter which direction you travel. So I took two out. That side. Give that a nice little tapity tap. Now when using this hammer steel to hit the punch, rubber to hit the actual link back into the bracelet, you do not want the steel hitting the bracelet because you can scratch it and mar it and then your bracelet looks like crap. And I don't believe anybody wants to spend a hundred plus dollars on a watch to hit it with a hammer and make it look like crap. That would make no sense. So, word of advice. Now you heard that hammer hitting. Um, you don't want to use too much force, but you got to give it as much force as it needs to get it out. Um, I know a lot of people break and bend punches. Um, that's the nature of the beast. Uh, especially like cotter pin um, are pretty easy to get out. And pin and sleeve are a little tougher. Um, just make sure your, your punch is straight when you're applying the, the hammer hits. And nine times out of ten, you will get it. Um, I buy punches that have... Uh, exchangeable tips so if I do bend one I can just slap another tip in and continue on I bought those from Amazon uh, I think it was like five bucks shipped from China and that's what these are here these pins that I'm using um, I recommend you know getting something like that that has an exchangeable tip or just buying a whole bunch of punches if you have a lot of watches because um they will bend if you're applying a lot of pressure. And if you have a stubborn watch that um, you can't get the pin out, that does happen, especially like on the iridescent watches. So all I'm doing is, is putting all the links together, sticking the pins in where they belong. And now we're going to bag these up and hope this watch fits Gilbert. That is the plan. So after this video is over, stay tuned. I'll have photos. Um, let's unwrap the dial so you can see that bad boy a little clear. Beautiful watch. This is a uh, entry level, probably a hundred bucks or less. <laughs> and uh, if you're just getting into Invicta and you want a big chunky watch that's not too large, the Pro Diver Scuba is definitely a good choice because it's a uh, it's heavy, it's got a really thick case, and uh, they're affordable. They're normally, um, I'd say, between like 70 to 120 normally, price range. Um, they're not screwed down, they're not Swiss made, they're not reserve, but um, they're nice pieces. Um, I still own two scubas right now, and both of them aren't going anywhere. One's a... Uh, my first scuba, it's all black and it's scuffed up, so I'm keeping that forever. And then um, the other, my mom and dad got me. So that one's not going anywhere. Um, check out the description if you want to know what movement is in this. Because right now I do not know. Um, it's a Japanese or Chinese quartz, let's see. It says Japanese, so it's a Japanese quartz chronograph. Um, not sure which though.
So yeah, the chronograph hand is down here at the six instead of uh, the chronograph hand normally being the big hand that that sweeps. So uh, that's definitely different. Anyway, check out the description. Stay tuned for the photos. Have a great day, and as always, God bless. Hey.